everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in my robe, about to do my makeup. I'm gonna be doing Kendall Jenner's two minute beauty routine for the Vogue Beauty Secrets video that she did. I'm really entertained by these videos. So I thought I'd just do a little chit chat, get ready with me, sort of pull along with this tutorial. It's two minutes and eight seconds. So that's perfect because I don't feel like doing anything today. So she uses about three products. I'm kidding, she uses more than three products, but very, very minimal. So we're gonna give this a go. Also, I know that uh, all the beauty secret videos are filmed in the bathroom, but the bathroom lighting is atrocious in my house. So we won't be doing that. So to start off with, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint in the shade Fair. She uses the Estee Lauder Double Wear nude foundation so for me this was the closest i had in my collection it's got a very sheer formula and it also has spf which the estee lauder double or nude does as well so we're just gonna give this a go and she doesn't put it like she doesn't dot it onto her face she just uh puts it on her hand and uses a little brush and why she uses such a small brush i'll never know but i'm gonna try and do what she says kendall says use a small brush i think it's kind of counterproductive to put this on my hand because it comes on a rollerball anyway but whatever it's gonna dab a little bit of that on my hand and just um <laughs> i'm gonna try and do it like her it's like she just ah. it's like that kind of motion that she does like it's the most non-blending i've ever seen i'm not judging I'm not judging and she goes right up under her eyes Is there any product on my face? I don't know. I think I'm gonna end up using like double the product I'm trying to do it this way. Oh wait. I want my other brush back. I mean, I'm not upset at all by minimal makeup. I truly don't feel like doing anything today except eating and drinking coffee. Oh my gosh, that was so much. but watch, I'll end up using all of it. All right, Kendall, this better look good. Ooh, wow. That was a lot. See, I told you, but I don't know, I can. Right up under my eyeball. Not somewhere I usually put foundation. Also, this shade is a little too light for me, but she does use some bronzer, so I think we'll be okay. I love the way this foundation feels once you let it sit on the skin for a little while. I have very dry skin, so that's probably why I love it so much, but I like that it has the SPF. It's not super full coverage. It's very sheer, but it's more than just a skin tint. It does a really good job evening out the complexion, I think. But if you had oily skin, I don't know that you two would get along. All right, that's as blended as we're going to get. I always have my reusable makeup sponges free makeup pads on hand and I just put a little bit of my cellar water on it and that way I can wipe off any product that's on my hand. All right Kendall what next? I don't really like to put too much on because I hate when I have like cakey makeup on. Okay now we're going to dot the concealer all over the face. I'm assuming it doesn't say but I'm assuming she also uses a more sheer coverage concealer. I am going to use the Flex Concealer from Milk Makeup. I've been really, really loving this lately. Like, a lot. Um, where are my blemishes? I don't have too many today. We're okay. <laughs> and she blends it out with her hand. I hate doing this. I hate using my fingers. I don't know what it is about me using my fingers but i just i'm not i'm not on that train yet it's a little much on my nose okay i got a little aggressive with the concealer don't think that was supposed to happen i usually almost always set this concealer it doesn't grease too terribly i mean it's not the worst so light and sheer but it does crease if you don't set it but kendall said i can't so here we are oh i forgot to put some in my eyeball Boop. Boop. And she's. Oh, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at being Kendall. I'm not a good Kardashian. Another one I want to do is her sister's Kylie's Vogue Beauty Secrets. I thought that one looked fun. 
I'm just really entertained by trying to follow along with these videos. If you can't tell. Alright, concealer, done. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so now we're going to go into the brows. I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I had to pick up a new one yesterday because I ran out. I am in the shade six. I don't have super thick eyebrows. I have very dark eyebrows, but even if I let them grow out, I don't really think it's that noticeable. Anyways, she just brushes them up really quick. Like I said, there's not a lot to brush up on my eyebrows. She has beautiful thick black eyebrows. I honestly can't tell the difference between her doing her eyebrows and her not doing her eyebrows. Not fair. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill these bad boys in. I'm trying to fill in the front of my brows a little bit more. I've noticed I've been skipping on that and I think it would be much more flattering if it came a little bit farther in. Like do the trick where you follow your the side of your nose. You just take a anything straight, press it against the side of your nose and wherever that line is on your eyebrow, that's how far in your eyebrow should come. So I'm trying to be better about that. Because my eyebrows, I think that's where they are the sparsest and then I just kind of follow my natural lash line. <laughs> my natural lash line. The natural shape of my eyebrows. They're already kind of arched. I do get them. Oh! Do not need eyebrow down there, Clary. I was saying I do have like kind of a natural good shape to my eyebrows. There's not like a lot to redo when I get them done. So I just try to follow, it's already there. And usually I don't even bother with two colors. I did really like the, um, what was it? The, the Benefit pencil that looked like a pen from when you were in middle school, like the ones that could click, but I didn't get enough use out of the lighter shades. So I can't justify buying that again. Can we tell the difference? Do I have candle eyebrows yet? I hate doing the left side. <laughs> I do really love this pencil because it is so precise and I feel like you can get your brows very nicely filled in without having them look overdone. And it also has a spoolie at the other end, so I think that's just freaking magical. I'm not, I'm not good at doing the left side. Probably because the angle I have to hold this, but I just want to get Kendall brows. Oh my gosh. And I don't see her do this part, but I'm gonna go back in with the spoolie and just make sure all of that is nicely blended in it and you can't see any like weird pencil mark because it's one thing for me to go around with creasy concealer. It's another thing for me to look like a clown with my eyebrows. Except, I think they'll accept the creasy concealer. The eyebrows, not so much. Okay, so next we're going to go in with bronzer and I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. I really like this one. It's not very heavy. It doesn't seem to look muddy on my skin tone, which a lot of bronzers do for me. It's not super crazy or anything. And I like that they're like two shades. So you could focus more on one side than the other if you so choose. I just swirl it all together. And what she does is she pinches the brush. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be like Candle. So we're just gonna swish. Pinches it. You know, I said it didn't, it wasn't excessive, but holding this brush like this, we are gonna really need to blend that bad boy out. Okay, as aggressive as that was in the beginning, I'm not upset with it anymore. It does blend out pretty well. It's not, it's definitely not as orange as it's picking up on camera. I swear. Maybe one day I'm going to have to invest in actual lighting, but I just really like the look of natural lighting so much. Okay, that's what I should have done. I should have tapped it off the first time. I always feel like my left side looks worse. And I always feel like my right side's like, oh, you did a good job. And then the left side's like, do you know what you're doing? Do you have a mirror? Once you know that her video on Vogue is two minutes long. Right now, we're almost at 20 minutes of filming. Obviously, it won't be that long for you guys. Right, I feel like that's a sufficient amount of bronzing. We blended out the craziness on both sides. What next, Kendall? What taught me most about how to do my own makeup is just my own face and finding out what looks good on me. And For those of you who thought we were done with the bronzer, we're not. We are going to take it and I'm going to use my big Eco Tools brush and swish it around in the middle, get a little bit of both colors, and then we're going to apply that to the eyes. 
I've been really feeling like these one eye color or one shade all over the eye. Sometimes you just don't have time to sit there and blend for 20 years. And I find that this bronzer is also really good for my skin tone on the eyes because again, it's not too orange or anything too crazy. Okay, she, it doesn't show her putting any on her lower lash line, but I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna cheat, sorry. I just really love putting eyeshadow on the lower lash line. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right to me to not do it anymore. All right, so now we're gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. It doesn't say what mascara she uses, but it'll be the same thing. Normally I would tight, yeah. <laughs> and normally I would tight line my eyes, but since Kendall didn't do it, I can't either. This is the freshest my face ever been. I don't think she uses a setting spray. Gosh. I mean, not her, me, I'm going to be a disaster. She keeps eating it, I keep, I, so I've had to watch this video before and she is eating a grilled cheese and I am starving. All right, so for the lipstick, I'm going to take the Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Sugar Cane and she just dabs it, it doesn't like 100% put it on. And then she takes her fingers and just pats it out. Okay, and so for the final step, she just Puts a little bit of gloss on. This is the ColourPop collaboration with Kathleen Lights. It's the shade Moonchild. This is from the Zodiac collaboration. And then she says she's done. So I'm done. I will be putting a setting spray on. I can't deal. I can't. I won't be able. I won't be able to function. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the final look. I honestly really like it. I'm not upset. She doesn't use blush or highlighter or anything. I think this is such a good everyday kind of look. Super simple. I mean, the number of products I use or the number of, <laughs> the number of things I use was so much less than I would use every day. I really enjoy following these kinds of tutorials because it teaches you something something new, something different. It may not be like the perfect way to put on your makeup, but who cares? It's your makeup, it's your day, it's your life. You're the one who has to be comfortable with it. So I really enjoyed this. So I need to go finish getting ready because I can't leave the house like this. I mean, as beautiful as this hairstyle is, we need to fix it. Thank you guys so much for watching and following along with me today. I really enjoyed it. I think it's really fun. I think the next one I want to do is Kylie's makeup tutorial, which is uh, a lot more involved and a little, the eyeshadow is a little, um, we'll see how it looks on me. But yeah, thanks for being here. I really enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you are not, please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.